Hello, this is The Manual, starting off with my tech advice for today's technology. Right now I'm going to be discussing HD TVs and how to properly set up your cables. Welcome to The Manual. <laughs> Our first topic for today is exactly how to set up your HD TV properly. Now, have you ever come home after buying an HD TV and, you know, if you if this is your first time setting it up, you know, brought it home and can't wait to put it in the box or perhaps they install it for you, then you turn it on to your local cable or satellite provider and you realize it's not as beautiful as it looked in the store. Well, this is why. It all comes down to the basic principle of correct cabling. Now, briefly, I'm going to go and describe which cables are best and which ones are not as good and which ones are downright low quality for HD TVs. Um, let's start you off with uh, different types of cables and what type of uh, clarity will get you. Then I'll jump into a couple of demonstrations and then take it from there. The first type of cable that probably most everyone who's had a TV in the 90s is familiar with is a coaxial cable. Now this cable was basically standard for your uh, cable providers back in you know for the past 50 years. These type of cables were used to pretty much display regular 480i television that were all grew up and were used to on 4x3 television screens. Now this is Yesterday new. yesterday's news. Slight upgrade from that, but still analog signal, we have the composite cables. Now, they come with one dedicated video line that still uh, brings an analog signal, and then a red and white um, stereo sound lines that, you know, help to uh, better clarify the sound, but still an analog signal. Now these started to come, you know, pretty much standard with like a DVD player or some VCRs and uh, some video game systems in the mid 90s. Um, these were distributed and actually did help to purify the signal, come a lot clearer than the uh, old white cable over there, but uh, still gets a lot better than this because you still got a pretty much 480i signal. Upgrade to component cables. Now these actually are still an analog signal. The highest um, clarity you're going to get with this is 1080i. You can't go past that with component, but it's still very good. And it, these started to actually bring in the possibility of high definition viewing from any one of your attached cables or systems. Now what you've got is the standard stereo red and white cables right there. I don't know how clear that looks, but you know, to transmit the sound. But then what you've got is video split into three colors. Red, blue, and green cables. Sometimes you'll see different colors, but basically these three cables split the video and actually give you a lot clearer view of the um, of the picture. Now I'm going to go into live demonstrations on what the highest clarity is in a moment but these three will get you pretty much a 1080i signal at the very least now inner interlaced interlaced excuse me and progressive video I'll get that into that uh, a little bit later but step up and finally we've got your HDMI cable now an HDMI cable can give you 1080p viewing that's progressive and what 1080 means is basically how many scan lines down that you've got on your television at uh, one time. So it's a resolution setting. Also, I won't get too involved into that. What you need to know is least to greatest. So I'll, I'll begin my demonstration now on uh, what each one of these cables can get into. So here we go.
All right, guys, I'm going to start off with connecting the regular cable to a Cablevision cable box and seeing what type of signal I get with that on this 1080p television. Here we go. So I go ahead and I've connected the coaxial cables to basically my television. Now, what do I get? Now, remember that coaxial cable is just that white cable. I get a basic HD television with a 4x3 layout. Now, I'm watching regular TV and it's... It looks okay, you know, it's still presentable, but it's not what you would expect from a HD television, you know, when you see it in stores and it looks very clear and then you don't get that full dynamic screen that you'd like to see, so that's what you get with coaxial cable. Uh, next upgrade, we're going to go to the um, composite cables, see what we get. Here we go. So I've just go ahead and connected the uh, composite cable. Now I guess it must be a television setting that I set, but it um, kind of stretched the picture out there a little bit. But you know what? The quality still looks pretty plain. Now I'm going to go ahead and pretty much switch to the next setting because um, we're moving nowhere fast, and what we want is true HD signal. So let's move on to good old component cables and let's upgrade this service shall we we're um i've connected this television back and i've connected using component cables which is what i showed you here the different colors now a much different picture the picture fills up the entire screen according to my cable provider and it looks a lot crisper now when i actually check my tv when i pull over my remote here i've got 1920 by 1080i so like I mentioned before 1080i is possible with component cables now can we get 1080p unfortunately not with these cables but the signal you can hardly tell the difference but what if we want that little extra bit well let's go ahead and hit the uh, magic HDMI cable which conveniently is one solid cable versus uh, a bunch of different colors so I think it's a lot easier personally so moving on let's go okay looks like I've upgraded the signal now we've got HDMI connection and fills up the screen just like composite and actually if you could hear the sound but I've obviously lowered it for this video the sound as actually comes in a bit louder because of you've got a pure digital signal versus an analog signal with composite component and uh, coaxial cables. But if I actually hit the button here for information, it's still saying a 1080i signal. Now what if, what if you were thinking, well, wasn't it supposed to give me up to 1080p? Good question. That all depends on the signal that's coming in, of course. So the highest signal that uh, some current uh, cable or satellite pro uh, providers provide you is actually a 1080i signal. However, let's actually see if we actually can get a 1080p signal with this cable, of course, switching to a handy uh, Blu-ray player PlayStation 3 system that I happen to have handy. It's currently connected via HDMI signal as well. So what do we got here? 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hz, 1080p signal. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The different type of cables, the different services that you get. If you got any questions, feel free to comment below. And uh, if you have any different questions about different cables or different type of technical issues, whether they be computers or and or just your electric co components in your house, just ask. I might hit it up in another video. This is the manual himself, signing off. Take care.